But you guys, today we're taking a look at the Orange Pi 5B. Now this has 32 gigabytes of RAM on a single ball computer with a powerful eight core ARM CPU. So what we're gonna do is take a look at the Orange Pi 5B and we're also gonna be putting in this super cool or Orange Pi 5 cooler, which is going to keep this super cool. Now, because the Orange Pi can run a little bit hot, we want to cool this down with a decent cooler. So let's go ahead and get the Orange Pi out of the box. As you can see here in the box, you're going to get your little uh, pamphlet here. It's just giving you some safety information and other useful information about the Orange Pi. This is the Orange Pi itself. As you can see here, fully kitted out with uh, two Wi-Fi antennas on here. This does Wi-Fi 6, and uh, you should get really decent Wi-Fi reception on here, but it also does come with a gigabit Ethernet port on here as well. Now, the processor is the Rockchip RK3588S, which has eight cores, four cores are A76 at 2.4 gigahertz, and the other four cores are A55, which run at 1.8 gigahertz. The GPU is the Mali G610 MP4, and uh, we've got up to 32 gigabytes of LPDDR4 uh, X RAM on here as well. Now here we have uh, three USB ports and one gigabit Ethernet port. Two of those ports are 3.1, and the other one is the 2.0 port there. Now we also have a Type C 3.1 on there as well, and we have that large HDMI on here. Now we can put an NVMe drive on this as well. We can use the slot for the NVMe if you want to, but here's a full readout of the whole layout. I'm not going to go through every little bit of it because there's quite a lot and they do all this information on their website. So you'll be able to read it on there at your own leisure, or you can pause the video here and go through everything on here. It's got everything you're going to need on this little uh, single ball computer here. So pretty decent little uh, device. And there's tons of things you can do with these. It does come with a micro SD card slot as well. Also built in uh, memory on this one up to uh, 256 gigabytes of EMMC uh, memory on here. Now, if you're running a Orange Pi 5B, uh, then you're gonna wanna get yourself a decent cooler. And this is the one we're gonna be installing on this device here to keep it nice and cool. You got those two copper pipes there going up with a nice uh, RGB or LED fan on here, which we'll take a look at as well installing. Pretty simple installation. You got these two little brackets here, and we also have all of the standoffs here and screws and bolts here, which we're going to need and the thermal pad, which is going to go over the actual uh, processor here. So let's go ahead and get these screwed on. All we need to do is follow the little installation guide. So it just says two screws to go in the bottom of the uh, heatsink here or the cooler, and we can put the bracket on and basically that should be done. So that's that part done. All we need to do now is put the uh, little standoffs with the little bolt on here on the actual brackets. And this is what this is going to do is allow us to screw in on the bottom a bottom plate here for this. And I'll show you in a second. So we've got the four of those on with the four bolts that come in the kit as well. So once we've tightened these up a little bit, you only need to do these finger tight. You'll need to put the uh, thermal pad onto the actual processor in a second. So I'll show you how to do that as well. But you can see these are all now on. And what you need to do is put the thermal pad on. Make sure you remove the little plastic part on the bottom and also on the top. So I'm just going to peel this off. But there is one on the bottom as well. So make sure you peel the plastic cover on. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Now, these thermal pads will help keep the uh, CPU nice and uh, cool. So let's go ahead and get this on. And once we line this up now, like so, we just line these up. And when we put the another copper one on the bottom it's a little standoff now you want to use the bigger ones on the bottom and the smaller ones on the top that wasn't very clear in the instructions but it is a bit self-explanatory you just need to put the bigger larger ones on the bottom because that will give the clearance for the actual uh, perspex bottom so i'm going to go ahead and screw these in now and just, again just do these finger tight you don't have to tighten these up with a spanner but you should see something like that and uh, now we've got this done what we're going to do is do the four of these on the actual board itself. There we go. All four of them are now on. And all we need to do now is uh, screw on the Perspex uh, base. And once we've done that, we're pretty much done, uh, apart from attaching the fan cables. So let me just go ahead and just marry this up here. 
Now you want to make sure you also pull the protective cover off of these here. Just check to make sure everything lines up and it does. And all we need to do now is screw in these screws that come in a kit as well. So everything comes in a kit. I'll leave all the links in the video description if you want to get yourself this cooler. It's pretty uh, decent at cooling uh, the Orange Pi 5B. And I'll show you the temps in a second. So we've got this all now done. And all I need to do now is plug in the two cables. Now you can either run this as a 5 volt or 3 volt. It's better to run these as a 5 volt because you get much more cooling on there. But if you want something a little bit quieter, then run it on the 3 volt uh, setting. It'll be perfectly fine. But we will be attaching this to the 5 volt uh, to get the maximum cooling. And it wasn't that loud when I had it running. So just push the cables around here. Now, my eyesight isn't the best, but just basically put these into the slots that it tells you to put them into. And uh, it's not that one right there. It needs to go to the one in the front. There we go. And once you get those in, uh, that should now be done. So all I need to do now is just address these cables a bit, pull these round. Should have probably done that first, but hey, pretty sure someone had mentioned that in the comments. But hey, that's now done. And uh, we've now got our cooler on our Orange Pi 5B. So we've got our Wi-Fi antennas here. Now you can get cases for these, and I do have a case. I was going to show it in this video, but the video was getting a little bit long. So I'll show that in another video. But basically, this is it right here. And all I need to do here is the layout I've got here. We've got our Ethernet cable uh, in there. We've also got my capture card, which is this one here, which is USB 2.0. I also have my keyboard and mouse plugged in. And uh, also we have the HDMI, which is going straight into my capture device and then into my monitor. And we have the power, which is coming off the uh, type C type of power input here. And there's our fan. So what I'll do is once we've got all this uh, lined up here, I'll power this on and I'll plug in some other devices like my uh, USB drive that has some games on it. So these are the full specs. I'll leave them here so you can see them, but there's some other ones on their website to check out. If you want to run Android 12, you can do. If you want to run Debian uh, 11, you can, or Ubuntu. They also have some other ones on there, uh, which you can take a look at. If you want to see any sort of videos on how to create a bootable media for this, then let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to make those videos for you. It's pretty straightforward, uh, but I'll show you how to do it. So those are the specs, and let's move on to some of the benchmarks. Okay, so I'm going to boot up the Orange Pi 5B for the first time and then once we get to the actual desktop we'll be able to install some stuff and basically run some tests i want to show you some uh temperatures on this with that cooler because it is a pretty good cooler and it got this super cool i mean to a point where at idle when it was running it was like 30 odd celsius which is really cool for a orange pi 5b so here is the actual desktop it's got a few apps on here you can install more if you want to install uh, the Google Play Store, you can do. If you want to install some other ones, you can do. You've got the Aura Store there. If you want to get apps from there, you need to sign in. And uh, you can get apps from there if you wanted to. It's called the Aura Store. But if you want to get it there, you can do. So let me just quickly uh, check out uh, this here. And uh, I think I'm already running as developer here. Yeah, no need to run as developer. It says right down at the bottom, Brian. Stop clicking on it. And uh, we'll move on to... The next bit here so I'm going to quickly go to the temperatures here Ada uh, 64 and I'm going to quickly run the thermals on here to see what the thermals looking like and you can see 37.9 is pretty decent uh, for this particular single ball computer and again if you want to run other cooling on yours or in other cases they're going to vary depending on what you're using so let's run Geekbench 5 on here. We're going to run the CPU benchmark, and I'll give you the scores for that as soon as this is finished. And uh, it's 538 for the single core and 1779 for the multi-core on Geekbench uh, 5. So pretty good uh, scores for this particular type of chip. Again, this chip can be used for many different things, file sharing, little NAS, or maybe you want to do uh, some sort of pie hole. Or, or you want to do something else, you can do loads of stuff on these uh, particular single boards uh, computers. We're going to do the uh, GPU benchmark uh, for this now. So let's quickly uh, run this benchmark here. And uh, we're going to run this and uh, we'll see what the score gets for Geekbench. Now remember we're on Android 12 here. So 
4,343 on OpenCL score for Android 12, which isn't too bad. If you're just using this for a desktop computer, which is completely doable, uh, you'll be perfectly fine watching YouTube at 4K, no problem at all. Watching movies and stuff like that, you can do all this on the Orange Pi 5B. It's super powerful at gaming as well. If you want to play some games, I'll show you some retro games where we upscaled them a little bit, and I'll show you those right now. Okay, so let's look at some gaming here. If you want to play some games, you can do. You can play them on Android, or you can play them on Linux, or whatever it is you want to play yours on. So it's a pretty decent uh, kit for uh, playing games, uh, retro games as well. You can play these at your heart's content. It should have no problem with these. These are times three and times four upscale. So no problem at all handling these sort of games. And again, the benchmarks on these, uh, when I did some benchmarking, it didn't get above 50 when I was running the actual Geekbench 5 on here. So you've got plenty of cooling with that cooler if you want to play games and you're not going to get any overheating. Without that cooler, you're going to get in the region of 80 odd degrees Celsius if you don't have a cooler on it whatsoever. So it's always best to get a decent cooler uh, for these uh, little devices. Let me know in the comments section below what you want to see me do with this little Orange Pi 5B. I'd be happy to show you some more stuff, maybe put it into a case or maybe do some other stuff with it. Let me know down there and I'll be happy to make those videos for you. And just for full disclosure, this was sent out for review for free. Uh, all the opinions are my own. No one is reviewing this video before it's released. And uh, yeah, I'll leave all the links down in the video description if you're interested. Anyway, my name has been Brian from BriotechComputers.co.uk. Let me know in the comments section what you want to see next, and I'll be happy to make those videos for you. Other than that, I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether it be Tier 1, Tier 2, or Tier 3. No matter what way you support me, I really do appreciate it. And I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.